UK Prime Minister Theresa May is heading to Brussels today for further Brexit talks with Jean-Claude Juncker. She's seeking to renegotiate the deal she struck uh, with the EU back in November after it was rejected by her own government. But the EU has said repeatedly that it will not be making any more concessions. Uh, well, let's get some more on this with our correspondent Maeve McMahon, who's in Brussels for us this morning. Morning to you, Bru uh, to you Maeve, even. Uh, what are you expecting out of these talks today? Will there be any breakthroughs? Well, Belle, yet another photo up between Theresa May and Jean-Claude Juncker inside the building here behind me. We understand from officials that Theresa May will be coming to town today looking for either a time limit or an exit clause to the backstop. But yesterday, Jean-Claude Juncker's spokesperson, Margarita Sheenas, already made it clear that that would just not be happening. And perhaps that's why the president of the European Commission is feeling a little bit pessimistic ahead of these talks. And when he spoke yesterday in Stuttgart, he said that he admired Theresa May. She was a courageous woman who was very assertive. And today he'd be having friendly talks, but he wasn't expecting any sort of breakthrough. I'm meeting Mrs May tomorrow evening. It doesn't seem as though there is enough movement for me to be able to assume that it will be a productive discussion. An unregulated exit of Britain from the European Union would have devastating consequences for both economic areas, the domestic British one as well as the European. So you can hear the concern there in the voice of a very pessimistic uh, Jean-Claude Juncker. And there's a feeling as well among his, his officials when we speak to them here behind the scenes in Brussels that there's just no possibility that the UK will be able to leave on the 29th of March and they'll have to find or ask for some sort of an extension to Article 50. And Jean-Claude Juncker made that clear yesterday that that would be accommodated. But of course, Belle, that's something that would not go down well with many in London who feel that that would just continue the Brexit paralysis and this Brexit uncertainty and keep the United Kingdom locked into the European Union for even longer than many want. Mm, I mean, the EU has been fairly clear in the last uh, few weeks that it will not make uh, any more uh, concessions to uh, the UK. Do you get any sense of a softening in, of tone in that? Absolutely not, Belle. And to prove it, we've seen this week the European Council have actually officially published the guts of that withdrawal agreement in the 24 official languages of the European Union. And we've heard it repeatedly from various governments, from all the EU institutions here, that that withdrawal agreement will not be reopened. It's just there's room for manoeuvre in the political uh, declaration. There's a feeling as well here in Brussels that, an, that there is an evaporation of trust between officials and negotiators here and those over in the United Kingdom, and that Theresa May keeps coming to Brussels with no concrete proposals, but just keeps asking the EU institutions uh, to help her out. And speaking yesterday in Madrid, we heard Michel Barnier, that's the Brexit uh, chief Brexit spokesman for the European Commission, saying he was increasingly concerned about the political impasse and worried that there would be no breakthrough and worried that Theresa May would bring no new ideas to the table. He'll be meeting as well Jeremy Corbyn tomorrow in Brussels, so we'll also be keeping an eye on that for you. All right, thank you very much, Maeve McMahon there in Brussels.